Hello, my name is Jessica Johnson and I am the Dodgelin High School Principal. On behalf of the Dodgelin School Board, the high school faculty and administration, I would like to welcome you to our 2020 Dodgelin Senior Honors Night, the virtual edition. Senior Honors Night is a tradition in which we gather each spring to recognize and celebrate the achievements of our seniors and we wanted to make sure that we continue to do so despite the school building being closed. In this video, our Dodgelin students will be recognized with awards and scholarships from numerous agencies and foundations within the Dodgelin community and beyond. This represents an investment in our graduates, which we believe to be a sound investment in the future. Many of these students began their scholastic journeys here as Dodgelin students even in the elementary school, and now they dream of going off to college or the workforce or the military and making a difference in the world. It is our dream that they will bring what they have learned on their journey back to us and reinvest in our communities that have supported their journeys thus far. Even though we are recognizing our seniors virtually while we are socially distanced, we can still celebrate. I encourage you to celebrate and recognize each other by congratulating and sharing on social media and I encourage you to use the hashtag Dodgelin Proud. This year's valedictorian has earned a grade point average of 4.328. The 2020 Dodgeland High School valedictorian is Josephine Shaw, the daughter of Jason and Missy Shaw. Josephine will be attending the University of Chicago in the fall, studying biological chemistry. To honor Josephine for this achievement, we recognize her with the valedictorian's medal. Ordinarily, Josephine would have recognized her significant educator at the Trailways Banquet. Since that event was also canceled, we would like to give her the opportunity to do so now. Throughout my entire educational career, music has been a constant. My experiences in learning music have taught me to be patient and determined, have made me a better problem solver and team player, and have overall enriched my education in a number of ways. For this reason, I've decided to name Miss Keel, someone who's played a fundamental role in these experiences, as my significant educator. I find it difficult to even begin describing the deep impact she's had on both my formal education and my life in general. I've known Miss Keel for what seems like forever, since before I even began elementary school. She directed the first musical I was in, taught me how to play piano, and has helped me prepare for and accompanied me at every soul and ensemble competition over the past seven years. She's been a part of most, if not all, of the greatest and most formative experiences I've had in music. And, despite no longer being a formal teacher of mine, she is someone I know I can count on for support or guidance. In all the time we spent together, she's been a patient, generous, and caring mentor and friend. I'm beyond grateful to have been taught by Miss Keel, knowing that with so much passion and such a warm heart, she's impacted the lives of countless students. This year's salutatorian has earned a grade point average of 4.318. The 2020 Dodgeon High School salutatorian is Caitlin Pickert. Caitlin is the daughter of William and Elizabeth Pickert. Caitlin will attend Lawrence Technological University in Southfield, Michigan, following her graduation from Dodgeon High School. She will major in architecture. To honor Caitlin for this achievement, we will recognize her with the salutatorian medal. Ordinarily, Caitlin would have recognized her significant educator at the Trailways Banquet. Since that event was canceled, we would like to give her the opportunity to do so now. The teacher I chose as my significant educator is my second grade teacher, Mrs. Pity. Mrs. Pity was more than just a teacher in a classroom for me. She's a kind, compassionate person and an advocate for lifelong learning. She always wants the best for her students and was willing to find new ways to challenge me and to encourage my learning. She's so easy to connect with and one of the most kind and caring people I know. I will always remember the impact Mrs. Pity had on my education. She taught me more than just the regular second grade stuff. She showed me that there is a world of opportunity out there and that there is nothing holding you back from reaching your dreams. We had a little book club after I left second grade where we read Little Women and wrote letters back and forth to one another to discuss the book. Looking back on those memories is so meaningful to me. It was more than just reading a book. It inspired me to read always. Even more than just inspiring me to challenge myself with my schoolwork, Mrs. Patey inspired me to chase after my goals in life. I remember she had a poster in her room that said, you never know what you can do until you try. This quote has come back to me so many times throughout middle and high school. Whenever I questioned whether I could do a really tough assignment or was faced with a really daunting race, that quote came back. Whenever I was struggling with something or doubted my abilities, I was reminded that you never know what you can do until you try. 
If there is any comfort to be gained from the thought of an unknown future, it's that whatever is coming, and whatever will come, you may not be prepared exactly how you wish to be. But as long as you try your hardest, everything will turn out the way that it's supposed to. I will think of Mrs. Patey and how meaningful that quote is to me every time I'm faced with a challenge I don't think I can complete or succeed at. I'm reminded of being a little second grader with no reason at all to think that I couldn't do whatever I set my mind to. I want to thank Mrs. Pitty for being one of the most influential teachers in my time at Dodger. Without her, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I also want to thank all the teachers I've had over the past 12 years who have inspired me to learn, grow, and succeed as a student. All of the coaches I've had with cross country and track and field who have pushed me to reach my full potential as an athlete and who always are there supporting me, and to my parents, who have always had my back and been my biggest supporters in everything I do. Achieving high honors requires a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher for seven completed semesters of high school. In honor of this academic achievement, we recognize these students with a pin at graduation. In addition, our recipients will also be wearing a silver stole symbolizing high honors at the graduation ceremony. These students achieving high honors include Megan Ann Bartlett, Grace Mary Jane Kane, Seth Alfred Christofferson, Amanda Rose Egebrecht, Angelina Elizabeth Emmerich, Cole Michael Gunther, Allison Marie Huber, Isabella Angeli Michelinus, Rachel May Parves, Caitlin Rebecca Pickert, Brock Milton Roy, Josephine Jean Shaw, Joshua Martin Stuby, Miranda Christina Renee Sebastian. My name is Marsha Modav, and I have the privilege and honor of being the athletic director for the Dodgeland School District. The awards that I am presenting tonight are the Senior Athletic Awards. The first athletic recognition is honoring the students in the class of 2020 that participated in athletics during their high school career. Congratulations and thank you to each of you for your contributions to Dodgeland Athletics. Connor Arndt, Grace Kane, Seth Christofferson, Blake Durge, Amanda Egebrek, Angelina Emmerich, Courtney Goldbach, Hayden Kurth, Selena Noble, Alan Perel, Greg Plain, Dylan Potius, Alex Ron, Brock Roy, Christian Shaw, Josephine Shaw, Elizabeth Stotts, Dylan Stofflet, Brody Tasker, and Tice Vandenberg. There are 14 seniors that have earned four consecutive letters in one or more sports during their high school career. This is an amazing accomplishment and congratulations to these 14 seniors for your achievements. And thank you also for your contributions to Dodgeland Athletics. Each four-year letter winner will be receiving a plaque and a certificate recognizing your achievements as a Dodgeland High School four-year letter winner athlete. Brianna Bacon in the sport of dance. Alyssa Buskey in the sport of dance. Janelle Feckler in the sport of dance. Seth Hayden in the sport of soccer. Allison Huber in the sport of soccer. Caitlin Cohn in the sport of dance. Mackenzie Marcourt in the sport of track and field. Nate Astrike in the sport of football. Joshua Stuby in the sport of hockey. And Carrie Westfall in the sport of dance. There are also four senior student athletes who achieved four consecutive letters in two or more sports. This again is just an amazing accomplishment and congratulations to these four individuals. Ty Bader earning four letters in wrestling and also four letters in baseball. Megan Bartlett 
earning four letters in dance and also four letters in track and field. Rachel Parbs earning four letters in cross country and four letters in track and field. And finally, Caitlin Pickert earning four letters in cross country and four letters in track and field. Each year, our school can nominate a male and a female student athlete to be recognized as a WIAA Scholar Athlete. This award recognizes student athletes who have worked hard and demonstrated success both in the classroom and in the athletic arena. Both recipients have invested hours of commitment to being a great athlete and student, but even more importantly, being an amazing person and role model for their peers. The recipients each receive a certificate and a medallion that may be worn at graduation. And this medallion signifies their levels of excellence in both the classroom and athletics. Dodgelands WIAA Male Scholar Athlete for the class of 2020 is Joshua Stubbe. Dodgelands Female WIAA Scholar Athlete for the class of 2020 is Caitlin Pickert. Congratulations to both Joshua and Caitlin for being Dodgeland's WIAA Scholar Athletes. Dodgeland also recognizes an outstanding athlete for males and females in each graduating class. This award is voted upon by all Dodgeland head coaches and this award recognizes the two athletes that represent the Dodgelands Athletic Code philosophy through their years of participation in Dodgeland athletics and also through their conduct as a student athlete. The recipients are both receiving engraved plaques and certificates. From the class of 2020, Dodgeland's outstanding male athlete is Ty Bader. Congratulations, Ty. From the class of 2020, Dodgeland's outstanding female athlete is Caitlin Pickert. Congratulations, Caitlin. The United States Marine Corps also provides a Distinguished Athlete Award. This award recognizes an exemplary young citizen and role model for younger students. I am honored to recognize this student athlete as having best exhibited the personal traits of courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership while performing as a Dodgeland athlete. Dodgeland's 2020 United States Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete is Joshua Stubbe. Congratulations, Josh. Dodgeland Athletic Booster Club awards four $500 scholarships to student athletes that have excelled both in the classroom and in their athletic careers. Recipients must achieve at least four varsity letters through their high school athletic career, as well as achieve a GPA of 3.0 or higher. Dodgeland's Athletic Booster Club scholarship recipients, each receiving again a $500 scholarship, goes to Caitlin Pickert, Rachel Parbs, Ty Bader, and Seth Christofferson. Congratulations to the four of you for being selected for these scholarships and we wish you the best beyond graduation here at Dodgeland. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award this year is presented to one deserving senior in recognition of exemplifying the four pillars of the Daughters of the American Revolution, dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism 
are all voted upon by the staff and senior students at Dodgeland. This year's Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award goes to Josephine Shaw. The Wisconsin Academic Excellence Scholarships are awarded to Wisconsin high school seniors who have the highest grade point average in each public and private high school throughout Wisconsin. In order to receive the scholarship, a student must be enrolled on a full-time basis at any Wisconsin college or university. The recipient this year is Josephine Shaw. Similar to the Academic Excellence Scholarship, the state of Wisconsin recognizes there are also very hardworking seniors who are choosing to attend a Wisconsin Technical College. The Technical Excellence Scholarship is awarded to a high school senior who has the highest demonstrated proficiency in technical education subjects. This year's recipient is Cole Gunther. The Herb Cole Educational Foundation annually awards its $10,000 initiative scholarship to 100 graduating high school students in public, religious, and independent schools throughout Wisconsin. The intent of the initiative scholarship is to recognize students who are putting forth extraordinary effort to do their best in the classroom and have overcome significant obstacles or adversity. Recipients are selected by their teachers and school administrators. This year, Dodgeland is excited to be able to award this scholarship to Janelle Feckler. Hello, Dodgeland seniors. I'm Bruce Rampanelli, and I'm representing our local chapter of Scholarship America, and we are known as Dodgeland Dollars for Scholars. Our main purpose is to provide scholarships to Dodgeland students that wish to pursue continuing their education beyond their graduation from the Dodgeland School District. Our organization has been in existence since 1994, and we have provided scholarships to Dodgeland's graduates, totaling over $106,000. This evening, I am proud to announce that there are nine recipients that have earned awards this year. I will be presenting eight of the awards via this program, and the ninth, the Megan Family Scholarship, will be presented by Andrew Meehan. The first two $1,000 scholarships are the Kane Company Scholarships, and they are presented to Connor Arndt and Grace Kane. Congratulations to both of you. The next three $1,000 awards are Neva Vox Scholarships. They are made possible by a large gift that was given to our organization in the name of Neva Vox. They are presented this year to Carrie Westfall, uh, Trice Vandenberg, and Josephine Shaw. Congratulations, Carrie, Trice, and Josephine. The sixth $1,000 award is a general dollar for scholars scholarship, and it is presented to Caitlin Pickett, Pickert. Congratulations, Caitlin. The seventh $1,000 award is known as our Business Appreciation Scholarship, and it is funded by various district businesses that have given contributions to our organization. And this year, the Business Scholarship, uh, Business Appreciation Scholarship, goes to Cole Gunther. Congratulations, Cole. We are all living in unusual and a stressful period of time here. I am sorry your graduating class has missed out on the many activities and events of the seniors' last months of school. A positive note is that your group will certainly always have an important mark in history and have dif a different set of memories, but still notable ones, okay, of this special event in time in our medical history. You will be entering a future education endeavor that is a situation that is definitely different than any other group has had experienced in the past. So to that, I wish you good luck, congratulations, and stay safe. Thank you. Hello, my name is Andrew Meehan, and I've been a member of the Dodge and Dollars for Scholars Committee for almost 10 years. It is with great honor that I get to announce this year's inaugural award winner for $2,000 from the Andrew and Heidi Meehan Scholarship. Congratulations to Rachel Parbs. 
I wish you the most success in your journey to become a speech and language pathologist. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Scott Treichel, class of 79, and I am pleased to present the Ryan and Russell Leroy Memorial Scholarship this evening. I set up this scholarship to honor the memory of two of my childhood friends that passed away far too early in life. Both Ryan and Russell loved life and lived it to its fullest. Their zest for life was contagious, and their sense of humor always made me smile. They were smart, funny, and I miss them dearly. I believe their greatest quality was their fearlessness in going after their goals in life. I believe we have a recipient of our scholarship tonight that also exhibits that same quality. A man who knows what she wants for a career and has laid the groundwork for it in the most impressive fashion. Her dedication to her studies and more specifically her AP classes will serve her well in the year to come. It is with great pleasure that I present the Ryan and Russell Lee Roy Memorial Scholarship to Amanda Egebrecht. Congratulations, Amanda. This year, the Reeseville American Legion Post 190 is awarding their $500 scholarship to Joshua Stubbe. Congratulations, Joshua. The next scholarship is being awarded by Shirley Teamy in honor of her late husband, Richard Teamy. A little background on her husband, Dick. He was a Dodge County police officer, then elected to clerk of courts. Dick was always involved with the Dodgeland School. He coached football back in the 70s and was always involved with their two children's sports, either coaching, line judging at volleyball, or just being in the stands and cheering them on. Continuing education was very important to him, making sure that their two children did so. There were so many excellent applications, but one stood out. Shirley knows what it's like to lose a loved one, and this young lady touched her heart. They would like to give out the $1,000 Dick Teamy Scholarship to Rachel Parbs. We wish you the best and wish we could have given this to you in person. Move forward and make your dad proud. Hello, my name is Pam Princeton. I was a speech and language therapist in the Dodgeland District for 39 years. This is my second year of retirement. It is my honor to be presenting a scholarship for a Dodgeland senior going on to higher education in the memory of Helen Patrick. I would like to share a little bit about this wonderful lady. I met Helen when I began my teaching career in Dodgeland in 1979. I quickly learned to respect not only her skills in the classroom, but also I respected her for her daily, positive, child-centered outlook. Helen started her career in Dodgeland in 1962, first as a fourth grade teacher, then a reading specialist, and then she was a third grade teacher until her retirement in 2001 with a total of 40 years of her life dedicated to her passion of teaching. Helen was also a lead teacher, which meant when the building principals were out of the building, Helen was in charge. She did a very good job at that. She had strong leadership. She had great communication skills. She loved the staff and the students and the communities of Dodgeland. Helen loved children as well. Her students were her kids. She was passionate about supporting their learning but also she loved their individual personalities and tried always to find neat kind of fun ways to connect with each child in her class. Seeing how successful the students were when given these educational opportunities, no matter their specific and sometimes challenging stories, brought Helen joy. This scholarship was put together by both Wisconsin and Tennessee friends of Helen's. One of Helen's passions besides teaching was Elvis Presley. She was a fan since the 1950s and tried to get to Memphis as much as she could. She always made the trek to Memphis in August, though, for Elvis's anniversary of his death. And her friendship connections in Memphis included all walks of life, including some of Elvis's aunts, uncles, cousins, and even some movie stars that were in his movies. Many of her friends, though, also were financially poor, with few educational opportunities but that didn't matter to Helen. They had big hearts and they were kind individuals whose stories were very special to her. Her Memphis friends in like loved Helen and felt blessed to call her friend. For many, she was their only friend that had gone on to college. One day, about four years ago, when I started the scholarship, I received a phone call from one of her dearest friends down south who knew I was collecting money in Helen's memory after she passed. She shared, that despite their meager means, they wanted to open their hearts to donate for their dear friend, 
who treated them always with respect and kindness. So they raised a remarkable amount of money, and the way they did it was cool. They set out a chair where Helen always sat to honor, you know, on the anniversary of, of Elvis's death, and put a bucket by it and collected money that way. They got a remarkable amount. And Helen would just be so overjoyed with that because they knew teaching was a passion and never a job for Helen. Helen was also the first in her family to go to a place of higher learning, and she was so proud of that fact. I heard many times over the years how many doors it opened for her and the many lessons she learned besides the academics. As we all know, this is an unusual time in our history. And Helen, if she was sitting next to me or standing next to me, she would say to all of you, take care of business. That was Elvis's motto in his life, TCB, taking care of business. Congratulations to all of you. The next part of your life's journey is about to begin. And tonight, I am honored to be presenting the Helen Patrick Scholarship to a student who has demonstrated in her choices that hard work, commitment, and a love for children can help shape their future. It is my pleasure to award the Helen Patrick Scholarship for 2020 for $1,000 to Carrie Westfold. Congrats, Carrie. I am so proud of you. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, my name is Bill Adi. I am the Dodgeland Education Association President, and I'm here to award two scholarships. Uh, the first one is the Dodgeland Education Mike Sogstead Memorial Scholarship, and that will go to Carrie Westfall. And the second scholarship, the Dodgeland Education Excellence in Education Scholarship, will go to Josephine Shaw. Congratulations, girls. Good luck in school next year. It is with great pleasure as the Dodgeon FFA president that I'm able to announce that the Dodgeon FFA alumni will be offering six different scholarships totaling more than $13,000 for the upcoming school year. The alumni normally offers two $500 scholarships, but through the gracious offerings of the FFA community, we are able to present an extra one, so we're offering three for this upcoming school year. The FFA is an organization that makes a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for premium leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education. FFA provides steps to adhere to that are taught by our educators and exhibited through the mentorship from all FFA members and alum in order to achieve the goal of our mission statement. Our FFA Code of Ethics provides a clear guideline to mentorship and education so students always conduct themselves to be a credit to the FFA organization, their own chapter, school, community, and their families. Our Alumni Association believes that this year's class of candidates pledge to follow and live by this code in positioning themselves to be leaders in this community. This year's recipients are Cody DeParis, Rock Roy, and Cole Gunther. We thank them all for the years they put in FFA. We also would like to thank our agricultural teacher, Lucas Van Ector, as he won an award for Agricultural Teacher of the Year presented by the Wisconsin FFA alum. It is no wonder that our Dajon FFA chapter and its students are doing so well. Congratulations, Lucas, and to the recipients. Dajon FFA and alumni supporters are pleased to be able to offer the Kim and Gary Alfig Agricultural Scholarship. The Kim and Gary Agricultural Scholarship was established seven years ago with the purpose of providing financial support to a Dajon High School graduating seniors who are pursuing careers in agricultural related field. Although Kim and Gary do not reside in the area, they have been attending the Dodge County Fair for more than a decade and appreciate the genuine commitment of everyone involved in making the fair a fun event. They enjoy walking through the barns and the display areas, speaking with the exhibitors, and of course, eating fair food. As is often the case with agriculture, families can be seen working together 
towards a common goal of success. Kim and Gary are honored to offer the Dodge and FFA students these scholarships as assistance as they pursue their agricultural dreams. Each scholarship is an initial $1,000 award and has the potential of being renewed annually thereafter for up to three years, providing the students remain enrolled full-time in an agricultural-related career. These students have earned a 2020 Kim and Gary Alfie Agricultural Scholarships, which will be administered by the Dodge and FFA and Supporters Organization. First, we have Cody Kuperis. Cody joined FFA as a sixth grader and continued throughout his high school. As a sophomore, he served as treasurer and as secretary during his junior year. He will pursuing a degree in Ag Business Dairy Technician at Fox Valley Technical College. Next recipient is Cole Gunther. Cole was heavily involved in the FFA throughout his high school career. He has served as treasurer during his SUNY year and plans to obtain a technical degree in CNC machining at Marine Park Technical College. We also have Brock Roy. Brock has participated in almost every activity that has been offered by the FFA. He has held the officer roles as Sentinel, Vice President, and is currently Chapter President. Brock will be working towards a degree in Animal Science at the University of Wisconsin, Platteville. Congratulations to Cody Brock Cole. We wish you the very best as you follow your During dreams. During the 2019-2020 school year, the Dodgeland High School chapter of the National Honor Society sponsored two American Red Cross blood drives. Students and community members raised over 61 pints of blood with the potential to save over 183 lives. The American Red Cross Blood Drive Scholarship is being awarded to two students this year. Josephine Schall for organizing last summer's blood drive and Caitlin Pickard who helped out on the same blood drive and as our chapter's president helped organize the winter blood drive. Congratulations to you both and thank you for all of your hard work. The Dodgeland Student Council Scholarship of $100 goes to Josephine Shaw. Josephine has demonstrated service and leadership to the Dodgeland High School Student Council during her four years of study at Dodgeland. She was active in various committees as a freshman and sophomore, then becoming more actively involved in officer positions her junior and senior year. She demonstrated calmness under pressure and class in all areas. Congratulations, Josephine. Hi, I'm Amanda Bodo, and I am the Dodgeland FBLA Advisor. It is my honor to present our FBLA scholarship to Josephine Shaw. She has done an amazing job over the last four years. She has been um, on our local officer team three years in a row, our president for two, the past two years. She has competed at nationals all four years of her uh, high school career, and she has done an amazing job of strengthening our chapter and growing it to where it is today. I wish you the best of luck in the future, Josephine. We'd like to recognize those students who received a scholarship from the universities and any other outside agency. Grace Kane will be receiving a music department scholarship from the University of Whitewater, Amanda Agabrecht from Concordia University, the Luther Promise Scholarship, Caitlin Cohn from Concordia University, the Luther Promise Scholarship, Rachel Parbs, Received the Presidential Scholarship from St. Cloud State University. Caitlin Pick from Lawrence Technical University will receive the Women's Cross Country Scholarship and the Presidential Scholarship. Caitlin will also receive the Wisconsin United Methodist Church Vocational Scholarship. Brock Roy will receive the John Haskins Scholarship in Animal Science from the University of Wisconsin Platteville. And Joshua Stubbe will receive an Army ROTC scholarship. On behalf of the Watertown Regional Medical Center, I will be presenting the Watertown Regional Medical Center Health Career Scholarship. Watertown Regional Medical Center has a long history of providing high quality patient care to Watertown and the surrounding communities. Watertown Regional Medical Center has served the region for over 100 years, providing patient centered care close to home. Our mission of making community, communities healthier includes supporting education and health care careers. It is our honor to be able to offer scholarships in seven area high schools. 
We wish the very best for all the 2020 scholarship recipients and all graduating seniors, especially the 2020 recipient of the Watertown Regional Medical Center Health Career Scholarship. We hope that all of your dreams come true. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Amanda Eggebrecht. Each year, United Liquid Waste Recycling provides a scholarship to one graduating Dodgewood High School senior. This year, United Liquid Waste Recycling selected Brock Roy. Congratulations on being selected as the 2020 scholarship recipient from United Liquid Waste Recycling. As we reviewed the applicant pool, we were impressed with your accomplishments and your endeavors throughout your high school years. We feel that you have chosen a rewarding and challenging career in animal science and hope you will make a contribution to your profession, utilizing your great character and many skill sets. Congratulations, Brock. This year, the Climb and Fire and EMS Association Scholarship is awarding $1,000 to two recipients. This year's recipients are Courtney Goldbach and Brock Roy. Congratulations, Courtney and Brock. Good evening. The Randy Roberts Memorial Scholarship is given yearly to honor the life of a man who made a difference in so many ways. Randy was a Dodgen graduate who embraced living in and being from a small town. He was an active and dedicated community member. He served Kleiman as a firefighter his entire adult life. He was a member of the village board and an active member in his church. Randy had a passion for the outdoors, whether it was hunting, fishing, boating, snowmobiling, or trap shooting. He always enjoyed spending time with his family and teaching his children and grandchildren about all of the things that he loved. He is fondly remembered for a sense of humor as well. Although Randy left us much too soon, his memory lives on in the lives of many. This scholarship came about to help students pursue their dreams at the next level. Randy took pride in the fact that all of his children attended college or technical college and that they are all successful today. He always helped in any way he could and we want that legacy to continue. The Climb and Sportsman's Club was a huge part of Randy's life. You would find him and our mom, Cindy, out there each Wednesday night for league and then several times throughout the week for maintenance and cleanup. He truly took pride in the fact that he and his family were and still are life members. Randy lost his courageous battle to cancer in December of 2013, but he is still alive in the hearts of many. He would want to ensure that he had made an impact for many years to come. The Randy Roberts Memorial Trap Shoot has become an annual event. This year, it is being held on August 1st. It helps raise money for this scholarship, but it goes much deeper than that. It raises money for cancer research and for the family struggling with the dreaded disease. In partnership with the Kramer Cancer Foundation and the Climate Sportsman's Club, this event, along with two others, has been able to donate over $100,000 to cancer research and to local families the past several years. The trap shoot also helped establish the scholarship fund and continues to pro provide funding yearly. As our family looks for a candidate for this scholarship, we look for a student's dedication to their community, a student's interest, and their involvement both in and out of school. We also look at the student's passion for their career choice and what their future may hold. This year, we decided to choose a young lady who showed unwavering dedication to her community, both at school and at home. Her involvement in her community emulates what Randy stood for. He was so proud to live in the community in which he was raised, and we see this in, that, in the young lady that we have chosen. She has chosen to enter the field of education our family is a family of educators, and we commend her for her choice to enter a field that impacts the lives of so many. Miss Grace Kane, you are an inspiration to many. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors at UW-Whitewater, and we are excited to see what your future holds. Congratulations, Grace, on being selected as the 2020 Randy Roberts Memorial Scholarship candidate. The Juno American Legion Post 15 is proud to present a scholarship in the amount of $500 to Cole Gunther. We understand him to be a hard worker and we know he will put the money to good use. We wish Cole the best of luck in his trade school journey. Congratulations to all the graduates of the 2020 senior class at the Dodgeland High School. 
Um, this year, uh, with the, un the unusual times, um, this is not how we normally do this, but uh, we would like the Juno Lions Club would like to present our scholarship this year to senior Brock Roy. This year, the Juno American Legion Auxiliary Unit 15 scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Grace Kane. Congratulations, Grace. The Watertown Agribusiness Club uses proceeds from the annual Father's Day weekend dairy breakfast for scholarships. In addition, part of the scholarship funds are from a donation they received from Jim Ostrom with Milk Source Genetics. Jim was a former scholarship recipient. The purpose of these scholarships is to aid students who are continuing their education in the field of agribusiness. We are pleased to be able to recognize students for their academic achievements, extracurricular involvement, community service, leadership responsibilities, and to support their career goals in the field of agribusiness. On behalf of the Watertown Agribusiness Club, it is with pleasure that the club presents a scholarship to Brock Roy in the amount of $700. The club sends their congratulations and best wishes for his future success. The Dodge County, Wisconsin chapter of Pheasants Forever is active in the community while working to reinvigorate membership and make a difference here in Dodge County and the surrounding area. Over the last few years, they have organized a youth project to plant a pollinator plot at the Horicon Marsh Education and Visitor Center in partnership with the DNR. They've helped start the Horicon Youth Trap Team and continue to co-sponsor the team in partnership with the Horicon Rod and Gun Club. They donate food plot seed to local landowners to help increase habitat and food sources for area wildlife. They've organized two Learn to Hunt outings and two Hunt for Food events focused on pheasant hunting. They have also adopted a state wildlife area in Dodge County and have held multiple work days aimed at improving the habitat on the property. Because of their efforts and commitment to the property, the DNR is now stocking pheasants on the property. This is their first year to be offering a scholarship to a Dodge County youth and hope to do so in the future to continue. They are happy to present this year's scholarship to Cole Gunther. Congratulations, Cole. Hi, my name is Jean Han, and I'm here to award the Han Education Scholarship in the amount of $500. First of all, I want to say congratulations, seniors. It is amazing how far you have come in your academic career, and I cannot wait to see where you go next. 18 years ago, when I began my teaching career, I made a vow to myself to give a scholarship away to one senior from my first graduating class. Well, six years ago, that dream became a reality and I was able to award my first scholarship. I've been lucky enough ever since to award scholarships to one deserving senior going into the field of education. I am honored tonight to be giving away the scholarship to a deserving senior. This senior is someone I got to know very well last year when she tutored in my kindergarten classroom. I see so much of myself in this student when I was in high school. Quiet, reserved, but knows what she wants in a career. I am very honored to be giving the Han Education Scholarship tonight to Carrie Westfall. The $500 Hazi Scholarship is presented annually to a graduate that will be majoring in one of three areas, education, music, or agriculture. This year, the recipient will be studying animal science at UW-Platteville, and that student is Brock Roy. Congratulations, Brock. Hello, seniors. My name is Keith Mountain, and I am the secretary and treasurer of the Juno Dodgeland Alumni Association. On behalf of the Alumni Association, I'd like to be the first to welcome you to our organization. As an alumni of Dodgeland, you are officially a member, and uh, you can look forward to getting uh, annual newsletters from me along with a request for dues and these dues are what helps fund our scholarships. We give three $1,500 scholarships to recipients and uh, this year's winners are Connor Arndt, Grace Kane, and Carrie Westfall. So we'll be in touch with all three of you with uh, further details how to um, collect your money, and uh, again, congratulations, and I hope you had a great year. Thank you. I would like to congratulate all of our students for a long road of high achievement traveled thus far and being honored this evening for your hard work and effort. This recognition ceremony is not only a celebration of what our students have accomplished thus far, but also a celebration of their parents, family members, community members and educators who have provided them with guidance and inspiration along the way. 
and this is only one stop along in the road of life. I know that each of you will continue to work hard on your journey. Thank you to all the families and organizations that have contributed to the scholarships and awards for our Dodgeland seniors. It is your generosity that helps our students to pursue the next phase of their lives and chase their dreams. Together, we are Dodgeland and we are Dodgeland proud. Thank you.